Hello, I'm Kevin Zettel, a technical marketing engineer here at Infoblox, and today I'm here to walk you through Infoblox's Blocks One Threat Defense Endpoints Easy Deployment and Management. First, I'll be doing a quick overview of the Blocks One Endpoint Agent. Then, I'll do a quick high level overview of the Blocks One Endpoint Agent Deployment and Management. Finally, I'll demo a quick deployment and management use case with a single Windows machine. Now let's do a quick overview of the Blocks One Endpoint Agent. Typically, enterprises would use a server that resides locally on their headquarters network or some local branch office. However, due to today's climate, doing this becomes more troublesome as employees and customers need to travel and work from home. And due to this, there is a high likelihood of getting infected and having data stolen through the DNS without being directly connected to the company's network. But thanks to the Blocks One Endpoint Agent, organizational endpoints, DNS, can remain protected regardless of the network the employee connects to as Blocks One Endpoint Agent is deployed directly on the company's asset and talks directly to Infoblox's Blocks One Cloud. Now let's take a quick look at a high-level deployment overview. Here, Infoblox's admin simply download the endpoint agent directly from Infoblox's cloud service portal. Once the zip is downloaded, the admin simply needs to unzip the file and convert it into the necessary file type needed for their appliance deployment. For single deployments, the admin needs to directly deploy the file onto the endpoint. As for mass deployment, the admin can use Microsoft, Mac, or some other UDM mass deployment option to download the endpoint agent onto all the company endpoints. Next, for management, the Infoblox admin needs to do two things. First, is to assign endpoints to the endpoint groups. Second and finally, is to assign the endpoint groups to a customized security policy depending on the endpoint needs. Now let's look at a demo of deploying and managing Infoblox's endpoint agents. First, the Infoblox admin needs to log into the Infoblox's cloud service portal. Once inside the Cloud Service Portal, the Infoblox admin needs to navigate to the Administration Downloads tab. Here, the admin can choose between Windows and Mac endpoint agent deployments. Once downloaded, be sure not to immediately try and download the agent as you'll run into an error that the file needs to be unzipped first. Once the file has been unzipped, the user can run through the endpoint setup process and give the app permissions to make changes to the host computer. Once the endpoint setup process is finished, the endpoint agent will take a few seconds before it shows that the protection is working. As for the management, the admin can now see the endpoint inside the cloud service portal. Here, the admin can see things such as the name, IP address, MAC address, if the endpoint is active or not, and much more. Now the Infoblox admin can add the endpoint to the endpoint group. However, if this is your first time, the admin will need to create an endpoint group. By default, all endpoints are automatically added to a default endpoint group. So if you want to customize the policies, you will need to create your own endpoint group. Inside the endpoint group, you will also be able to set up your internal domain list and your bypass mode. Now that the endpoint group is created, let's go back to the endpoint and move it into the new endpoint group. Finally, the final step in the endpoint management process is to assign the endpoint to the policy that is needed for the endpoint group. Inside the security policies, the admin, once you assign the endpoint group, can set block domains, whitelists, category filters, and much, much more. Finally, one last thing before we end off here is that after a few minutes, the endpoint agent 
that we downloaded earlier will show that the endpoint is now being protected. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any other concerns or questions, you can find me or any of the other experts at Infoblox on the Infoblox community website. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day.